your loom should look like after you're done the left side. Now we are going to move on to the middle. We are going to do the just take your rubber band into the peg the same peg that you put the left band on. Stretch it onto this peg. And then just keep on going.
since you're to, um, at the peg uh, before the last peg, take your elastic and same thing, just put it onto that center peg. Now what you want to do is take your next color. This color will be for the bottom there. So you see my purple? That is what that is going to be for. Now we want to put it on here. Sorry. Put it. Do not put it on this the first triangle or the second triangle. Put it on the third up.
one end here. Overlap that one end there. What I recommend you do is put that those two bands, bands like at the very end of your hook because it's happened to me I, that band comes off and your whole thing falls apart. Now you can take off your triple single. There we go. So now you have just made your triple single. So now I would think that your wrist is too small for that. No problem at all. You know what? There is a different way of making a single to make this bigger. But you know what? This is my way that I find like the easiest. You don't even have to use your wrist. So what you do? So you see, this is the other end. You have the other this end on your hook. Just take the, your half band end. Take a color, just slip it through. So you slip it through the hole. Pull it out. So that half it's half of that. That's how you make a single get a C clip. I forgot to mention that you'll obviously need a C clip. So let me get one here. And take your C clip. I like to stretch out my bands like this. See that? There we go. And just
to say bye to our our audience? Sure. <laughs>